Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanna to talk to you about budget. There is a misconception out there that the keto diet and the carnivore diet is expensive, primarily because of all of the whole foods that you consume, like the meats and the cheeses and dairy, even some vegetables and fruits like avocados can be expensive. And so a lot of people don't think that it's within their budget to eat this way all the time. So I'm here to tell you that that's not the case. And today we're gonna to focus on meats. And these are gonna be some budget-friendly meats that you can eat on the, either the keto diet or the carnivore diet. Even if you're on a fixed income and you don't really have a big food budget every month, you can still eat good on the keto diet and carnivore diet. And I'm not talking about hamburgers and eggs, eating those all the time. I mean, you can certainly do that. Those are very inexpensive choices. But I'm gonna give you guys some ideas where you could have a wide range of meats that you can consume on either the ketogenic diet or the carnivore diet. So keep watching if you wanna hear all of these money-saving keto tips. Tip number one is to reach for fattier cuts of meat. Now some of those when you're on a budget, I'm not talking about ribeyes, you could certainly do the hamburger in this case, but other ideas for fattier cuts of meat are like a chuck steak or chuck roast if you're going to eat beef. For pork, you could reach for a pork shoulder. A lot of those are really fatty on the outside, especially even some pork sausages have a lot of fat mixed in there with them. When it comes to poultry, you wanna go for the thigh meat. Any of the darker meats like thigh or drumstick, even wings, although wings don't really have that much meat on them, those are gonna be better options or fattier cuts of meat. And fat is what keeps you full. So if you eat those items, you'll tend to eat less of them because they keep you full more. And tip number two, it just kind of goes along with that first tip. When you eat a keto diet or a carnivore diet, you eventually get to this place where you're just not as hungry as you used to. You can actually just spread out your meals and maybe just eat one or two meals a day. And so if you're eating less often because you're so full from your meals, from a lot of the protein and fats that you're eating because they're sustaining you throughout the day, then you don't really need to buy food for snacks or breakfast or you know that third meal or fourth meal that you might have throughout the day. So it's going to save you money there too. Tip number three is to buy in bulk and buy when it's on sale. Maybe you should get like one of those food saver devices. Those are great for if you buy a lot of meat, you can cut them up into individual portions about what you think that you would make. Uh, meal wise for each meal, like maybe a pound of hamburger or a couple pounds of chicken thighs, things like that. So if you buy in bulk, you actually save money in the long run. And especially if you have a freezer to put these in. So maybe a freezer is a good investment option for you too to do. You could easily get a inexpensive chest freezer that you could stick either in a pantry or garage or laundry room, things like that you can definitely do. When it comes to fish, you could buy in season. There's certain times when and certain cuts of fish are actually in season. A lot of the fishermen are out catching them so they go on sale, especially if you live in a coastal town. Also, when you're at the supermarket, look for manager specials. So these are discounted meats that might be half off. It's still good meat. It hasn't expired yet. It just might expire in a few days, but it's a good way to save on money when it comes to meat. Also stock up on meats during the holidays, like around Christmas and Thanksgiving. The holiday season there is a good time to stock up on turkey. Turkeys are really good inexpensive cheap meat that you can buy for the carnivore diet or keto diet. There's lots of different recipes that you can use with it. And speaking of which, when it comes to buying like a whole turkey or a whole chicken, you really just eat the entire thing that it comes with because there's organ meats that come with it to provide lots of nutrition. You get the meat itself and then after you're done eating the meat, then you can take that carcass of the chicken or the turkey and make it into bone broth so you can get more nutrition from that. A lot of the collagen and minerals and stuff like that that come in there. You might even want to consider purchasing meat from a local farmer and maybe go in on like a half a cow or a quarter of a cow. They even do that with hogs too. And if you don't have a freezer and that's just too much meat for you to consume, you might wanna consider joining a CSA, which is a community supported agriculture group. In CSAs, they actually give you like, it's like a monthly subscription. Sometimes you can do weekly or bi-weekly if you want to, but for the most part, it's a monthly subscription to meet where it's you and other members of the community that belong to the CSA. It's like you've purchased into like a cow. And so every month you get certain cuts of meat at discounted price. 
So since these are locally raised animals, a lot of times they're grass fed and sustainably raised. You can do beef, pork, chicken, lamb, goat, anything like that. A lot of local farmers will raise and do a CSA program for you. Those are my four tips to save you money when it comes to your meat options on the keto diet and the carnivore diet. Now I kind of want to go into some cheaper cuts of meat that you could pick out if you're at the supermarket and trying to figure out ways to save money for the week besides hamburger and eggs. These are your go-tos for those cheaper cuts of meat. All right, let's talk about these different meat options that you can find at your local supermarket. And these are just prices that I found at Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger type supermarket. It's more mid range in terms of prices, but you could probably find things cheaper at Walmart. Sometimes Costco has really good high quality meat that you can buy in bulk. It just depends on what area of the country you're at. And so what are some of the good bargain stores that you like to shop at? Um, but Fred Meyer is my go-to place for buying a lot of my meat products. All right, so the first category is beef. Now we all know that hamburger is probably one of the cheapest meats out there and you can certainly go that route. I know that we probably use hamburger in our meals like maybe like one or two times a week, but there's other options that you could purchase when it comes to buying beef. You could buy a brisket, which is around like $3.29 a pound or so, depending on if you get it at, say on sale or not. And this is a large chunk of meat. It's great if you roast it on the grill, you could do it in the oven too, but it does give you a lot of meat for your buck. And if you're looking for a roast, you could do something like a chuck roast. Those are pretty inexpensive as well too. They're about um, five to six dollars a pound depending on if you can get it on sale or not. I like to do chuck roast. That's one of my favorite roasts because it provides a lot of fat. And if you're wanting steak as an option, you still can do steak and stay within budget. One of my favorite poor man steaks is a chuck steak very delicious it's fatty too and they're about like six dollars or so a pound and especially if you find them on sale or buy them in bulk they're a lot cheaper you could also try different types of steaks like a flat steak like flat iron steak hanger steaks skirt steak those are all really good options for fajitas but they're good just kind of sliced up on their own and eat it just like that and they're a lot less expensive than say buying a ribeye or a new york steak um, anything like that when it comes to chicken or poultry, so I'm talking about turkey too, there's a few different options you can do. I mentioned before that you wanna buy like a whole chicken or a whole turkey. This is gonna provide you with, you can have the meats, there's the giblets or the organ meats inside that provide a lot of nutritional benefit. But once again, you can take that carcass after you've taken all the meat off of it and used it and then make bone broth out of it. So great option there. And a whole chicken is very inexpensive too. They run about like, you know, for about $5 for a whole fryer chicken. And if you're wanting a different cut of chicken meat, I would again go with the darker one just because it does provide more fat and more flavor, but it's also less expensive. And particularly if you go with like a bone-in thigh or a drumstick, those are a lot less expensive. So drumsticks are probably around like 88 cents a pound, whereas the thighs are like $1.50 a pound, the bone-in ones. It's a little bit more money if you do the skinless, boneless variety, but if you do the skinned and bone on, cheaper plus you get all that flavor from the fat on the skin uh, which is great for you and then there's minerals in the bone and collagens in the bone too that can come out into your meat too so you're getting more nutrition there if you buy bone in meats if you're wanting to eat pork there's lots of different options there besides just sausage and bacon because I know bacon can actually get a little expensive you could buy pork ribs and they're normally around three dollars a pound especially if you get them on sale they're delicious they have a lot of collagen in them and besides the meat protein and fat as well too you could also go the pork shoulder route like i mentioned before those are really bigger cuts of meat so they can um, you can use them for different recipes throughout the week it's a really great option to do you could cook the shoulder on the slow in the slow cooker or even on if you have a Traeger grill it's great smoked you have all day you just cook it on a Sunday and and enjoy its meat throughout the week but a pork shoulder is about a dollar fifty a pound and if you like pork tops you can still eat those they're actually relatively in inexpensive especially if you get the bone on variety they're about three dollars a pound you could also try a pork tenderloin that does provide a lot of meat too usually you can get like one or two meals out of that and feeding a family of four and it costs a little under five dollars a pound for the pork tenderloin and if you're a fan of fish there's 
different options that you can choose. I'm not just saying that you have to stick with cans of tuna fish or cans of sardines. Sometimes sardines can get expensive, especially if you're looking for more of the wild caught or sustainably raised types of sardines. Those um, can be more expensive. They're like $2.80 per can, which might be fine for a meal um, every now and then, especially if you are running out of time and you're on the go a lot. But if you're wanting to incorporate more fish into your diet, I suggest you stick with more of the white fishes like cod or tilapia or um, catfish is another cheaper option to go with. They range anywhere from like eight to uh, $12 for a 32 ounce bag. And of course, organ meats are a really good option, especially if you're on the carnivore diet and need to get a little additional nutrients and minerals from your meals. You can talk to your local butcher about setting aside some organs for you. A lot of times they're cheaper if you do it that way. What I like to do is around the holidays, they actually sell a lot of chicken organs, like the heart and the liver, and they're very inexpensive. You can get a little package of chicken hearts for around $2, and I think the liver is even less than that. So it's a good time to stock up on organ meats around the holidays. So there you go. I hope I've given you guys some options when it comes to saving money on your meat budget if you're on the keto diet or the carnivore diet. Let me know down below if you guys have other ideas as well too. I'm gonna to be coming out with a video very soon about what you can use with these budget-friendly meats and like how you can eat them too. Different recipes for organ meats. I'm gonna do some chicken, some pork, some beef, just so you can see how we can save money and still eat delicious meat throughout the week. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that video coming out. Have a good one, guys.